in my previous video i discussed about cmos how the cmos what is cmos and how is it how does it work so cmos is nothing but combination of pmos and nmos and cmos inverter i have discussed so today we'll be discussing uh, cmos nand gate in this video i'll not discuss that uh, exact operation when a is 1 b is 1 then what happens i'll just tell how to draw it so you, you can remember that easily so remember that first you remember how does the nmos works so how does the nmos works you remember that so then the rest of the thing will be easy i'll tell how okay so nand gate means what we have to implement the logic a dot b bar okay so in nmos i have already told you that if dot is there then that will be in connected in series so not here so for nmos you should remember this sorry so for nmos you should remember this if dot is there so that will be a series connection and if plus is there then that will be a parallel connection so this is the only thing you need to remember to implement any kind of logic so a dot mean first nmos you draw the circuit through nmos okay so through nmos if i draw it so this will be my nmos if you remember this this one i'll take as input a because a dot b have to do two inputs and then another one sorry down side this will be grounded this is gate and this is input b so this is what this is my q1 and q2 and these are two my nmos so you just have to remember how to do it in nmos next is what it is a question to implement using cmos so cmos means p mosfet p type mosfet will also be there so how to connect it the pmos so for pmos we know that the nand gate will be a or connection means a parallel connection so remember in pmos the nand gate is a parallel connection and the or gate or the plus symbol is a series connection it is opposite okay so opposite means what so here i have to draw one <coughs> so it will be like this so see here in case of your n mos i am the source side i am connecting to the down side but in case of your p mos the source side i am connecting to the upper direction okay sorry this direction i have made it wrong so the direction will be like this let me correct it okay <coughs> and here the gate is there again one more will be there which will be in parallel so how to do that so this is the drain this will be the gate and they will be connected to a plus we say plus vdd or plus bcc or whatever you want to say you can say that again now what the input to give to these gates that is the point here okay so nothing simple so a will be connected to a and your b will be connected to b and from where the output has to taken the output will be taken from this common point so that is your output here so this point you can see this is drain of both the so it is drain of both the mosfet so this is drain and this is drain so here is the output so how cmos nand gate is done it is just first you do the nmos then you do the this exactly opposite to that pmos and then from the common point you take the output and the a and b will be connected to both so one ground from pmos and sorry one gate from pmos and one gate from uh, nmos will be a one gate from pmos and one gate from nmos will be taken as p so that is how the connection is made okay so this uh, sometimes looks uh, looks uh, complex 
but you try to draw it on your own then uh, you will get it and it will be easy for you so uh, in the next uh, video i will try to do the cmos nor gate